PC Perspective's Computex 2010 coverage is brought to you by OCZ Technology. I'm going, going to introduce this, uh, we call a concept motherboard. The name is Immensity. Yeah, and uh, it's the worst first uh, desktop motherboard with the built-in discrete GPU. So here you can see, this is a discrete GPU on it. And uh, with Lucy's Hydra's help, uh, normally in re reality, people they will just use uh, one single graphic card. And the building GPU can help boost the performance. Yeah, uh, in our estimation it's at least 20%. What discrete GPU is it? Uh, right now we're using a 5700 series M AMD, but of course we can try use uh, NVIDIA or uh, yeah, 4770, yeah. And uh, the first scenario is uh, just like uh, you put a high-end card and boost the performance. And the second scenario is uh, you can put it a mid-range card. For example, you put a mid-range card and they can output the high-end card performance, like uh, 5770. It will become like a 5770, 5870. Sorry. Does the discrete GPU come to any video outputs on the motherboard? Yes. There is a HDMI HDMI output on it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the the building GPU can also output to the HDMI. And of course, with Lucy Chip's help, uh, you can do a mix and match. There are two uh, PCIe by 16. You can either use a uh, AMD's car or a uh, Nvidia's car to do mix and match, and also the building GPU can also help on the multi GPU configuration. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the second one is I'm going to introduce this uh, Crosshair 4 Extreme, and uh, it's going to launch uh, at the end of July. And here we feature also feature with uh, Lucy Hydro's chip. Yeah, and since uh, this is our extreme segment, so uh, our extreme segment is targeting for uh, extreme overclockers. So uh, there will be uh, several overclocking interface, like uh, here you can see the RC Bluetooth. Yeah, you can use a smartphone to overclock the PC via the Bluetooth connection, and uh, there's also you can see RG Connect. I can c overclock the, the motherboard via a notebook, an external notebook. The key reason is uh, we offload all the computing resource. Yeah, we just install the software on the notebook and uh, the smartphone. So it won't occupy the hardware resource on the motherboard itself. Yeah, so the overclocker, they can get a higher higher score, uh, no matter uh, SuperPi or uh, 3D Mark. Yeah. So that has dedicated frame buffer on that motherboard as well for the GPU. Yeah. Is it 512? 1K? Uh, right now we use uh, 512, okay. but there's also yeah here there's a two GDDR on the back side. Yes. But Do you have any kind of uh, time frame for pricing or availability on a floor like this? When, when will it be out? Uh, right now it's uh, just a concept. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see if everybody is like it. Like it. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> so the purpose is for the 4-way SLI, uh, NVIDIA 4-way SLI, 480, yeah, because uh, they have to recognize the M Force 200, then enable the four-way SLI. Yeah. And what does that? So what does that attach to? What does that? What's it for? What's it used for? Uh, it's used for four-way SLI. And uh, for example, the daughter card is just uh, there is a, a go finger on the back. Okay. So the go finger will plug it on the graphics slot. Uh, okay. uh, then a PCI signal will go through the M4 chip, right. then to 2x16, then this one 2x16. Okay. Yeah. So, so a user, if they really want to use the 4-way SLI on a G, GTX 480, 
they can choose choose this solution. Now, doesn't that wouldn't that raise the height of the graphics cards quite a bit in a in a system? Uh, Actually, this is a four by eight, and this is four by sixteen. And if you are looking at a crossfire performance, yeah, four-way crossfire or four-way, this is by four, by eight and by sixteen. The native one even better. I mean, wouldn't it wouldn't it physically raise the cards off the motherboard if you've got so you've got this on top of this? Yes. And then graphics cards plugged into that. Yes. Does it fit into a normal case that way? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, because uh, uh, for example, the people who will use the four-way SLI, normally they won't put it in the case. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's the the key scenario that for people they want to do the like, extreme benchmark. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, if if they really want to use the four-way SLI in a standard chassis, actually we have uh, the workstation solution. It's called a uh, P67 supercomputer. Right. It's a standard ATX size. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So not like uh, others. Uh, and I know there are uh, several vendors they offer the M4200, but yeah. actually their board size is oh it's XL ATX. XL, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So very limited case. Okay. Can okay. Uh, can fit in. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay, and there is a RC2 RC Tweakit application on iPhone. Okay. It's just a beta version right now, but actually you can see it works. And it's a overclocking and a hardware monitoring. For example, yeah, in the overclocking the frequency, voltage, ratio okay like uh, you can adjust uh, the B clock has it been approved yet? Yeah. Is, is the app available yet? Uh, almost okay. yeah so we will publish it to the app store right for example I can down clock then apply that's pretty cool.